Dude, did you know that almonds were Ben Franklin's favorite snack? Oh yeah? How'd you find that out? I'm serious. Yeah, he was even quoted one time as saying, Dude, these almonds are freaking sick, bro. So today we're talking irrigation. Ir irrigation. First of all, we get our water uh, from a local irrigation district. We call in and I tell them when I need the water and they say, hey, yeah, you can take it then. Or they say, no, you can't take it till this time, whenever it works for them and us. So we'll open up our gate and that'll send the water over here. So what happens is this fills up with water and there's this screen right here that has a motor on it that as we're, as we're irrigating, this is constantly moving and it's uh, piling up all the crap uh, that gets stuck in here. So that way it kind of filters the water. All the big stuff gets filtered. From there, it goes to these filters. And it, this, these filters get all the rest of the fine, uh, the fine particles that we don't want going into our water system out. So from there, it's gone through the filter systems. It's now into the pipes that we've chosen, uh, which orchard to irrigate. And then it goes through some sub-main uh, irrigation lines and then it finally comes in uh, to these irrigation lines here. So now that we've gone over kind of how the irrigation system works, I will show you what I do to figure out when I want to irrigate and how much uh, water we need to be putting down. Um, there's quite a process to do that and uh, we want to be as efficient as possible. And I'm checking to see the soil moisture um, that we have using this awesome thing here, this auger. I want to auger down to at least probably, I want to see about three feet down, uh, kind of see where our soil moisture is at. So you can actually see I've dug about four feet down the coloring difference in this soil. So that's the top foot second foot, third foot, fourth foot. And so you can actually see, okay, there's quite a bit of moisture in that top foot, a little bit in the second, it's drying out in the third, and by the fourth foot, it's basically dry. Uh, what we do is these soil tests, is kind of you feel the soil, and it all depends on your soil type. Oh, there's a rock. But depending on your soil type, you can feel the different soil moistures. So there's pre pretty good moisture, not, not like saturated, but pretty good moisture in the top foot. The second foot here, it's still got some moisture, but you can see it's a little more crumbly. And so there's some moisture there, but not like saturated, like I said. Third foot, it's starting to dry out. There's still, I can still feel some moisture in there. I can still kind of ball it up and uh, kind of get that clay, but this fourth foot it's pretty dry it's you can just see that's just i can't really i can't really crumble it up very well I'm trying to it's it'll get a little ball but it's pretty dry so that's how we kind of see um we have soil probes that actually give us good readings of the moisture percentage um of the different depths i'll show you that in a minute but this is a good way just for just to come out and I can actually physically see what our soil is looking like moisture wise. I'm gonna show you, so we have the soil probes like I said, and so I'm gonna show you the graph that I use. So right here it shows, the graph hasn't pulled up yet, but right here it shows me the soil probe and it shows me the different moisture readings at the different levels. And so now the graph has popped up and so you can tell the watering, so whenever it goes up, you can tell that's where I started an irrigation. Um, and then it slowly over the week starts to decrease in soil moisture. And now it looks like all our root zones. So we've got eight inches down, 16 inches down, uh, 24 inches down, 32 inches down. That's really kind of where I care about is that area right there. Um, but all the way to the 48 is good too, because the roots definitely go down that far. But um, we're at, so the top eight inches is 94%, second uh, 24 inches, or so 16 inches is 94%, 24 inches is 89%. 32 is at 90 percent we're good so we had a good irrigation um, we got some good moisture and so we're good there <clears throat> so this is a, something that the California Almond Board has put together um, 
that helps us farmers with a lot of things. So they, they basically anything that we need to do with almond farming, um, they help us out with. Um, and so one of the tools that I use through them is this irrigation calculator. So I just got done inputting the last three weeks because uh, I hadn't updated it yet. I use this because it helps kind of give me an idea of what this is, because it's calculating all the different things. It's giving me an idea of how many hours I need to run our pump, our water pump, to get that much water, that many inches out. What's up guys? So today we're irrigating out in the orchard. Uh, we're gonna start off with the young trees, the 65 acres. And uh, I'm on uh, one half, Skylar's on the other half checking sprinklers. And uh, that's what we're doing. We're just checking sprinklers. And I'll run these for about, this orchard I'll run for about 48 hours. Uh, the reason I do it a little longer than the other orchard is because this orchard has more sunlight coming in. So therefore a lot more uh, evaporations going on than in the big orchard. We're driving along the center of these rows and we're looking at both sides, uh, watching the sprinklers. And we can kind of see in our uh, peripheral vision uh, if a sprinkler is not working right. Uh, either it's stopped, completely stopped, just water barely trickling out of it, or it stopped and there's a steady stream shooting out of it. Or, like this one, uh, this sprinkler, yeah, it's still spinning, but it's not, We, I can tell that it's not putting out the rate that it's supposed to be doing. Uh, it's kind of a weak flow right now, and so I'm gonna change the sprinkler. That means that there's probably something, you know, very small little uh, piece of sand or something stuck in that sprinkler causing it to not be able to go uh, its full uh, volume. And so I'll change that right now and that's basically what we're doing as we're driving along is just looking for these sprinklers that are uh, messed up and any any leaks in the hose we see, sometimes uh, gophers or uh, coyotes will come through and they'll uh, they'll bite on the, 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 uh, the hose, they'll bite on the hose and uh, causes, you know, big leaks. And so I have to plug up those leaks uh, and, and fix that. So uh, just fixing any irrigation leak problems, uh, broken sprinklers, uh, things like that as we go along. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. sprinkler is stuck and it's just shooting that single stream out so these sprinklers can come apart in pieces that's how we clean them uh, so we can whenever we have to replace sprinklers we uh, will pull these ones off that that aren't working and we'll take them in take them apart we'll clean them up and uh, we can always usually find what's clogging them up so that we know that hey it's gonna work this next time so we'll use them as the new clean sprinklers that we're gonna replace so this part right here comes off and what happens is let's see if it will focus on it Inside here, because uh, what happens is this purple uh, top, when the water comes up, it pulls this up. It pushes this up right here, and it spins, and that little, the little, uh, this little thing here goes up into here and spins around. Well, the problem is, it's clogged up. What happens is there's this little larvae that goes in there and starts growing inside there and so it stops it so that causes just that steady stream so all i gotta do is blow these out and a lot of times what we do is you just tap them and it'll start spinning and it'll be fine but right now i'm just gonna blow this out and uh, get it put back together <clears throat> so this one is stopped up and uh i know it's not going to be an easy fix like the other one uh just with the top on it that means that something inside here inside this sprinkler is clogging it up and so i'm going to replace this sprinkler The last one, you know, it was, it was up here that was causing the problem. But this one, I could tell that the flow wasn't uh, even the right amount of flow coming out. So I know that it's internal that's clogging up. And so when we clean these, uh, we take them apart. So this bottom twists and pops out. And then here's the inside here. And I'm not seeing anything. Usually I can tell uh, right away if something's clogging it up in here. And I'm not seeing anything in here, so it must be 
where the water comes out out inside here. Dude, these almonds are freaking sick, bro.